I didn't think he had the ability to do something this strong and this powerful because I ain't gonna lie to you, I just didn't think he had it, bro. You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, as far as that go, if Nick Cannon had the ability to do so, yeah. for a while, for a long time, I never would have get. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. But for some strange reason, I got a hankering. Well, I had a hankering that he might be able to do something like this if the the right situation presented itself. Unfortunately, it had to be the death of two people. But uh, I think now I, I'd like to see what it's about. And see, that was my thing when I first heard Nick jump on it. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, Nick passed, so what can you do? But see, I, 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 I and figured... so I thought it was like that. I figured he would do something because I watched... Right this time I was watching Breakfast Club <coughs> real tough. Yeah. And, you know, I watched... I was on my Dick Gregory shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I watched the interview where Nick actually interviewed Dick Gregory and spent time with Dick Gregory and stuff like that. So, I figured he would do it. Yeah. Because Dick really spit some wisdom. Y'all ever, ever, you ever, you ever, ever listen to Dick Gregory? Yeah, man. Now, yeah, yeah. Aside, aside from me sitting here and, and smiling, the reason why I'm smiling is because I was listening to Dick Gregory and the first time I heard it, I was like, shit, I need to hear this again. He talked like me and he's speaking the truth. Yeah, yeah really but yeah. Due to this, this, and this, you got too many people doing this, too many people doing this, their ears closed and their eyes closed, whatever. But, uh, yeah, Dick Gregory was the truth. Yeah, I rock with that. I just like listening to his shit. For real. Greg, man. He's yeah, tough, though. Yeah. He talk, he'll talk to you real good. But, I, but, yeah. I, but I figured he'd do it for him. I figured he'd finish it Greg, for him. him. And then when Nip got killed, he knew he had to fulfill that duty. Rest in peace to cuz. I see I think that may be the that may be the thing I overlooked. Like Nick may be surrounded now by better people than when he was younger. That, you know, and we all gotta grow. Probably yeah. I yeah. just you get what I'm saying? It's just like bro, like I ain't gonna lie to you because I am a very firm believer in understanding your own power. You know what I mean? Because your power is the only thing you can control. And when I look at somebody like Nick Ken, I'm like, bro, you have a lot of power. Just the fact that you've been in TV for as long as you've been in TV and still able to be on TV, you can project a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we glad you made Wild Not because it's a great platform for black uh, comedians coming from nothing, like DC, Young Fly, all them guys. It's a great platform. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, why there couldn't be poetry? Why there couldn't be self-independent movies? Why there couldn't be these type of ideas and thoughts? You That's get what true. I'm saying? That's true. So I've always looked at that because you're not just a regular guy, bro. Like, you're a guy that has actual stock in TV. Like, you're a Byron Allen type of guy. Like, you will be our generation Byron Allen. You have the ability, especially with the funds he's making now, to be one of the strongest black men when you think about black men in 30 years with the investments and the decisions he's making. So yeah. I think it's important that he makes the right decisions. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Now, that was one reason why I felt like I didn't think also he could understand the documentary because I'm a love I love Nick. You know what I'm saying? I was a big mm -hmm. huge Nick fan, you know what I mean? And so I understand when he was gonna tell that documentary, he was gonna tell a documentary as a form of a child that went through public school that sees the <coughs> full realms of everything going on and be able to talk about how that malnourishment even chemically messes with your brain enough to where you just don't even think correctly. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to think correctly when you're on an improper diet. Okay. It's hard to be healthy. So this will create the bills that keep you down. You get what I'm saying? So I knew he was going to talk about that. It's not about just health. It's not about just eating proper foods. And to be honest, like, Dr. Sebi is much more than just beating AIDS. It was about the message behind beating AIDS. Is the truth is that through good health, maintained diet mm -hmm. and routine, you can be a full, healthy human being, and it's possible. And you can boost your immune system. And you I can do it. I'm you not know what I'm saying? But it's just people don't do it, and so it's like going, going at a big, a bigger picture. It's most definitely talking to a bigger. Picture. I ain't gonna lie to you though. I had to read and I had to listen because I'm not, I'm not too big on somebody coming and telling me something and. There's no proof of what not, and I was hearing about these things, and I'm like, I need to read up on this, and I read up on it. I couldn't be ignorant to it, because yeah. it was too many people going around, and people was coming to me with it, and I'm like, usually I don't listen to niggas be on that bullshit, but I listened to this, and I went and read about it, and I'm like, hmm, and then uh, the trial of Dr. C.B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, we were talking about that earlier. 
He got found not guilty. Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like I told you. Yeah, see, that's what I think. Because I watched the interview with his his daughter, his son, and his uh, grandson. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were saying that's what uh, Nip was mainly focusing on, you know, when he got locked up and him beating that case and yeah. moving that and then getting into all the nutrition and stuff. And so... It was it was very interesting learning about this stuff. I yeah. did, and 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 one of the best things I learned in life. Yeah, I think if people really would follow a better diet, like you said, longevity would be in it's, a lot of people's like. And this is the, mind. go ahead, go and ahead. Since, since I watched the the interview that they gave, I thought like you finna say it. I'm considering changing my trying to the Dr. Z B diet. Oh yeah, listen, I'm just, yeah 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 do that. Hey, I ain't gonna let you know. I tried the Dr. C B diet, no joke, bro. When I came home from the military, bro, I was at a point I was like two thirty, bro. Yeah. I did the Dr. C B diet for like four months straight, like real deal. I had cut out meat, like all that, you know what I mean? And I was just doing it silently, was bro. What? I cut out meat. No, 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 no. I was no. like two thirty, bro. Get the fuck out bro, of here. Bro, I can show you listen, bro. I show you a picture, bro. <coughs> Ain't bro, I'm not lying to you, bro. I'm dead serious, son. I'm dead serious. I ain't gonna get the picture put up. You can go check my Instagram. Damn, um, bro. <laughs> Space kid underscore shy. You know what I mean? And y'all can go look, man. And I'm I'm dead serious, man. Like, bro, no, I man, did that, bro. Shit, that shit is respectable here. I don't I know people totally that done that shit. Bro. That's, that's caring know. about your health. I I'm felt totally it. different, bro. No, my problem is it's not being able to. Uh, look at me. That was me over there in the corner, bro. Which corner? To the far right. To the far right. I mean, your left. Your left. It's on your far left. Damn, bro. No shit. That's Damn. a tailor made suit, dog. Well, tell me what exactly were you eating on the. Uh, so, what diet. I did, bro. And so the big thing about the Dr. CV, right, it's not like necessarily a certain menu of food, mm -hmm. right? They it's got just, cookbooks, they got stuff like that. It's just eating those foods. It's just eating those foods and eating those foods in certain forms and fashion. So really a lot of it, what I did, to be honest, is I just went down, I found a list of his foods. Mm -hmm. And I found certain things like in my life that I was looking at that I knew were like factors and triggers for like my health factors. Mm -hmm. I real deal just like mapped it out. You know right. what I'm saying? Like if I knew chicken and all that shit. I didn't really, I stopped eating spaghetti. I yeah. started drinking skim milk because, of, you know, in our books, they told us what was good for us for certain things, for your muscles, this, that, and the third. The so I started true. following that guide. And that for the longest, yeah, and for the longest, you know, we couldn't drink soda or nothing like that. 
we couldn't even drink juice. Yeah. I mean, we could, but I mainly drank like water, milk. That's all I drank. Yeah. So, for the longest with my salads, I was eating them just like raw vegetables. And I was using spinach instead of the lettuce. Yeah. And, uh. Man, did I send that to you? No, nah, just something else. Uh -huh. But, uh, for the longest, I didn't eat it with no dressing. Yeah. Because I didn't know what a dressing was. Mm. And I didn't find a dressing until, like. So you eating raw salad? I'm eating raw, raw salad. I'm talking about spinach, carrots, tomatoes. It was liking this uh, shit. Mushrooms. Was, bro, you mm. like it, bro. You lost me right there. The black yeah, olives. Mushrooms, mushrooms. mushrooms look like ears. I can't eat them. Yeah, That's what they're for. They're good for your ears. I can't eat them, They're man. good for ear health. I, I just ain't never like mushrooms. The flavor. They're good for ear health. Yeah, the flavor. I can't even eat them diced. Mm -mm. Sauteed? No. I sauteed, I can eat. I can't See, eat I much, so but I, I eat mushrooms. Yeah, I, I can't, can't eat, eat them mushrooms. Like some sauteed. stuff I eat. And so. I can't eat stuffed peppers. I cannot eat that. I can't eat green peppers. I eat them now. I didn't used to like them when I was little, but I eat them now. My yeah. taste buds have acclimated. I eat a lot more room, vegetables. I can't. That was the change, bro. Like, I, you get what I'm saying? Like, that was the change. It's vegetables. Yeah, I love it. It may not it's be just the way they cook. It may not be. And see, this is the thing. Like, we're not introduced to all of them. No. Like, we haven't. Like, to be honest, white rice. A lot of people love white rice. But a lot of people never been introduced to brown rice the right way. And I don't understand. Brown rice why. is delicious. Yeah, that shit is good. It's delicious. Nine times out of ten, you will cook no me some more. rice. I want that brown. You ain't gotta brown up my white rice. I want the already brown rice. Man, I shit, saw, shit I good. saw a thing that white rice is plastic. Man, yeah, I, man, it's bad for you, bro. It's bad plastic. for you, bro. It's yeah. bad for you. They say yeah. rice ain't supposed to burn. Now, see, you know, I feel kind of salty. But we're not salty, but I kind of feel bad because everything that y'all are naming that are bad, dude. Hey. I get the munchies. I look up in the cupboard. It's something Listen, to eat. Real white rice ain't supposed to burn. No, nah, I know, but mm -hmm. whatever they throwing in this rice is good at the time, and that's so unhealthy. But I gotta call a spade a spade. I ain't finna fake the funk. <clears throat> I eat some of that bad shit. We all do. I don't necessarily mm -hmm. think about my diet because I'm a skinny Which dude. Which is not necessarily the problem. This is we eat so much. No, nah, it is kind of a problem, bro, for me because I normally I'm not supposed to eat dairy products and all the rest of that shit. Boom, 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 whatever. I still smash this shit. It doesn't do nothing to me, but I know I'm not supposed to eat it. Yeah. Or like hot Cheetos. Little kids is out here. Took my baby two years old, and I wish you would try to take that hot Cheeto bag from him. She more tough than me. I'm gonna give out. But eating, consuming all that shit, I know it's not good. For yeah, me. it's not good for you. But massive amounts. But of I will tell you this: when I go out to eat, <laughs> oh shit. Nah, that's good. When I go out to eat, and even he can tell you, she she can vouch for this. I can order anything on the menu. I'm not ordering no steak. I'm not ordering no lobster. I'm ordering a salad. And it's got to have some croutons and some bacon and some cheese and all the rest of it. Like when they bought that salad for the appetizer, I was low-key ready to say, hey, just give me some more of this and I'm good to go. And, uh, go ahead, go ahead. At the garden. Yeah, I like salad. Uh, but then by the same token, sit up, take one to the dome. I want me a motherfucker. And I ain't going to want me a bacon sandwich. I'm finna go eat that pork. And that became my, that became like, I ain't going to lie to you. So dealing with Dr. CB, you're not really supposed to have meat. So meat became like my secret treat to myself. <laughs> but no, but uh, no, but listen, like real deal. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like instead of having dessert, but you had a cheat day, bro. Like them just the, like the cheat part of my meal. Did you used to have to portion your shit up? Nah, bro. Like all right, for instance, you know what I'm saying? Like how Ink was saying, like one thing I fell in love with was like brown rice, right? Mm -hmm. So I have like the brown rice, I have like some green beans, um, I have maybe a bean, you know what I mean, like a black bean or whatever. And then I would have like a honey glazed salmon, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, now see, that's that's up my alley. Fish, if I, okay, mm -hmm. it's, it's being a, Yeah, you get what I'm saying, like that became, that became, if, that you became veg, if you a vegetarian or a vegan, can you eat fish? Are you supposed to? No. See, I can't do it because I fuck up some fish before I fuck up fried chicken. And the I'm fish not, ain't got to be food. fried. You one, of them eat, one of them eat meat, but they only eat, like, poultry. Chicken? Well, the Chicken vegetarians salad. don't eat vegetables, and I thought vegans don't eat anything that well, comes from meat. What animals. did you say? Hold on, hold on. Say that again? A vegetarian only eats vegetables. Yeah, they don't eat red meat. They don't eat, but listen, a lot of them don't eat fish. But, they don't eat turkey. I think that's a vegan. No, vegans don't eat anything animal-based. Animal 
Nothing that great. Yeah, like they eat, those are the people that eat soy stuff. Oh, no. Mm, ain't oh, like tofu. tofu. No, I was just finna say that. Vegas eat tofu. That shit stinks when it come out the fucking microwave. It smell like ass. It smell like white ass. I ain't eating that shit. Like you know, if you're a vegetarian, you go to Burger King, they got a veggie like burger. That. They got a veggie burger for you. I used to work at Burger King and had to, that's what the I'm saying. Burger, that is the stankiest motherfucking shit ever. Stanky when you heard you veggie burger on it, you like, damn. damn. God, this shit stinks. Thank you, MREs. That shit stank, him, folks. Yeah. It don't nothing smell appetizing about a veggie burger. And I don't want smushed veggie with meat based product. Yeah. Okay, I'm eating Vienna sausages as it is already. Okay, bad health. I don't know what's doesn't happen, but salt. I love salt, but I know it's not good for me. But what I'm gonna do? Swell up. Let, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. She know I'm gonna put it on them greens, that macaroni, a little bit of that salt on that motherfucking meat, uh, potatoes yeah, you know, and gravy. Hot sauce on. Then that too. Seriously. Bread, uh, Kool Aid, or uh, pop, no water. <laughs> Hell. The, in the middle of the night, a nigga ain't pissed all night. <laughs> Hey, y'all remember the Boondocks when dude made fun of the movie Soul Food? Yeah, yeah we did. Check this it, out. It's very true, bro. Check this out. Check this like, out. Like, we glorify some streets. Listen, man, I'm not glorifying this. The you know when he died even soon, y'all still needed to survive. The next day, I wake up, my fucking feet itching. I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, hands itching. I wake up, my <laughs> so arms are swollen up like Popeye. Man. I'm scared. Heartbeat. Do, 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 do. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to hold my hands up so the veins go away. They don't go away. She done came up, I'm like, Kimfo, look at my shit. If you cut me when that shit is going on, blood yeah. gonna squirt. I remember mean, when that nigga used to swell up his veins. Too much salt, bro. Like, I cannot have no kind of salt. <laughs> you know, some damn water and flush that shit. Man, <laughs> see, I had to start drinking water. Used to hate and water, man. Water, man. And I water is fucking water. disgusting, water. but no, I gotta drink, drink so I drink it. As I'm drawing, man, Pedialyte, man. Uh uh. No, uh uh. Uh uh. Put that in your daily routine, man. Listen. I thought for the rest of my life I was gonna have to drink that nasty ass, no sugar having shit. I don't drink Pedialyte like no more. They used to give it to me when I had I fevers when I was little, and then when I was sick, they That's gave me Pedialyte. Like, this shit is disgusting. It is. It tastes like it got oil off in it. It tastes is. like oil and water mixed. This is what you gotta do. What's, what's, that, what's that other shit? You gotta, you gotta dilute it with some water, man, so it, you really just it like drink water. It already is diluted. It ain't got no flavor. You gotta dilute it. What about water, that man, magnesium? You gotta get on that. No, fuck that. That motherfucking go lightly. Yeah, that go lightly. Oh, that's what they yeah, give us. I had that magnesium. Pedialyte better than all that, man. That's what I'm saying. And it's this is the shit magnesium. that they give us when they say we're sick. See all the shit? Magnesium citrate. Well, that don't even sound like Why are you mad at that? Take. That's real, though. No, but, that's not what you're supposed body, to take. It flushes you out. It flushes what are you, you out. About? It's natural, bro. It's natural. It is nasty as hell. It's an actual natural it element is. from Earth. Exactly. Like, in the Indian days, instead of gay. That's not the natural shit that's in that motherfucking bottle. That's what I'm saying. That shit been fixed. That's been told. Yeah, that bottle. That that's what I'm getting But magnesium, if it's a magnesium, it's like, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's supposed to. But that's yeah. not all that's in that fucking bottle. That's what I'm getting to. This shit has all been toyed with. That's why they're able to put it up on shelves. That FDA, it didn't pass bullshit. Man, that's bullshit. See, now, listen. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think the problem is like children's Sudafed. I think children Sudafed is glorified. <laughs> Robitussin is glorified. Yeah, it's just gl I don't even know what to say. How you gonna? The only thing is garbage. The only thing I, I ain't never seen nobody take that and get better. Is Tylenol no. fever reducer? Nyquil though, it just make you go to sleep. Make so it, your body take it care of itself. Get you fucked up. That's it just make you go to sleep and your body take care of itself. But shit. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I fall asleep on y'all niggas anytime. <laughs> hey, you wanna know the best thing I ever had for a <laughs> cold, bro? What? Sorry. Is uh some whiskey, no peppermint. And some honey. Uh oh, uh, uh, a hot toddy. Ooh, yeah. That's I, the best thing I've ever had. I had, food, man. Uh, I had a full time. I, no I did that and put a towel on my head and, and bridge it in. Man, and that good. shit. I tried it. Uh, I can't drink. I can't drink whiskey. Alright, so that one was done. Yes, okay. Can't see. drink whiskey. Drink whiskey though, bro. See, I don't really drink whiskey. Man, like that whole still recording. How many more minutes? Huh? Uh, yeah. How many I don't know. know. Oh, shit. You say how many minutes it, it record? 12? Yeah, the Stop. first time it was 12. It done went past 12? I'm assuming so, because well, he said it at 10. Yeah, so we got two more minutes to go. Got two more minutes, so. Wow, we're high. I mean, I put on 10. Yeah, we got like. We can use yeah, it's all fake out here though. It could be an intro, yeah. This is the motherfucking matrix. Do an outro and tell them to watch some old matrix. Yeah. Talk about a couple this things, is the man. motherfucking matrix that we're living in. This shit is all fake. You got to see shit with. You really got to have 2020 vision. 
Real talk, don't believe everything you see neither, because these niggas is magicians. And everybody, from politics to preachers to teachers, talk. police, lawyers, all these motherfuckers in cahoots with the with the man and all, yeah, the man. And think about it now. Look what the Sub-Zero freeze, but it's damn sure on halt. They're not quick to just hire nobody in because they don't know if you're sick or not. So you can apply all day. But this is what I'm saying. Hold on. That don't necessarily mean you're going to get it. And that don't stop your kid from growing. That don't stop the baby mama from calling saying she needs, she needs, she needs. I'm now seeing how a fucked up, corrupt government can ruin a life. It's already, you teetering because of the government. Yeah. And now I can see how the government could get off that fucking seesaw. Just drop your ass see, all the way this down. What, this is what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is what's gonna happen because exactly what you're saying is the truth, right? Mm -hmm. But then in return, places like Walmart and stuff like that, like, they can't go without anything happening. So what Walmart's probably gonna turn into is just a warehouse and delivery. Probably. Who do you think gonna be delivering that stuff to the hood? Niggas. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because we That's know That's us. It. And even if you finesse some off the back of the truck, money. They don't care. It's us. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's us. You get what I'm saying? I got dickies on set. I got the dickies. I got truck dickies this on week, nigga. I got TVs in the back. We ain't encouraging crime, by the way. We're no, we're not. We're not. We but just encourage you to get, get your money. Yeah. We understand. They can't That's understand what due to the red the line. That's what I'm saying. So, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's going to come to a point where black people are the most important people. 20s and Like, I ain't going to lie to you. Floyd Mayweather, right now, could go online and spar somebody in the gym and could get millions of views. I feel oppressed with this bullshit lockdown. I'm How many just... white boxers you know can do that? Okay. I feel oppressed with this lockdown shit. How many? Yeah, like Floyd Mayweather, okay. you say, I feel oppressed. You know what I feel like? Justin Timberlake, in time. You, if you don't got enough of this, you're not going to be able to get this. This is our catch-up time, bro. Uh-huh. This is our catch-up time. Most if, you're not, if you're not playing catch-up right now... And you're not moving forward and making plans, you fucking up. If this shit it don't fuck with your mind, like say just you gotta get out of that and be like, damn, I gotta own something where I know I'm gonna be okay just in case this shit. If they give the you head. four twelve hundred dollar stimulus checks and you do not have to pay no bills, when you get out of it, if you live in Texas County, you should own a piece of land. Check, okay, peep this out, and I had to think about this. In Arkansas, you should own a piece of land. And I thought I was gonna get one. If you don't even have a building on it, check this out. You know what I was thinking when I was about huh? to get this hoe? I told my mom, I said, shit. I'm about land five hundred dollars, bro. Huh? You can buy land in Arkansas right now for five hundred dollars. How? What? Like half an acre? Cause that's really shit. A whole that's lot. Like... A whole lot. Based that on... is forty-one by twenty-one. Based on where it's at, yes, you can. Man. You can buy a whole lot for five hundred dollars, bro. And you tell me they give you three twelve hundred dollars stimulus checks, and you get five hundred dollars, you drop that. Check this, Check this out. Check this out. Then I'm listen. I'm gonna hit you. With, I'm gonna hit you with this even harder, man. Check this out. I'm going to tell you how you can get a whole business out the ground for less than $2,000 to be the man in it, bitch. Preach. Now, listen. All right, check it out, right? Take so, me to church, guys. you go and you go get you a land, right? Uh-huh. Bam, you go downtown and get you a land. Them people out there in Ashdowns at Dirksons, they do portable buildings. Uh-huh. No credit check. All you got to do is pay a security deposit. For $300, you can get you a building and put it down and start your business. Any type you want. Say it again. <laughs> it's three steps. Go downtown, uh -huh. look at some land. Uh -huh. They'll give you a list of land that is available. Uh -huh. Right? They'll give you the price range of the land. Uh -huh. 
You look, you see what's in your price budget, and you go for it. Some of the lowest lands they have is five hundred dollars. I didn't know that shit. Yes, it's public information. No See, this is what realtors, no, this is how realtors go to school to learn. But they learn all the codes to understand housing and how to sell it and how to talk to banks. See, you might not learn how to talk to banks, but you can sure learn how to look for information. For yeah, I know about how not to get swindled neither. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so the situation talking. is you can go down to downtown, right? Right down to the courthouse. Uh -huh. And you can walk in there and you can go right to the right to the assessor's office. Bypass the woman at the front desk. Go to the woman in the back. It's a little uh, chubby white lady. I can't think of her name right now. Real nice lady, right? You go in there and ask her, say, hey, man, do you have any land that is vacant or maybe up for sale? Excuse me. She going to let you know. And then you know what you can do. How what she going to ask you, what she going to ask you, she going to say, do you have a particular address or a specific district that you would like to look into? That's going to blow your mind. Because you're going to be like, huh? Because you ain't going to say what she's talking about. But what she's going to tell you is, okay, young man, I understand you coming up here, but you looking for land in Sugar Hill? Is you looking at land for land in Bramble? Is you looking for land in the... Where is you looking for land in? Right? You might say anywhere. So she'll give you some stuff, but she ain't going to give you what you know what you probably looking for. But now, if you go ahead and you say, hey, man, well, I've been riding the city, and i seen uh, between 22 and 17 on Ash Street and 22, 21, it was, you know, nothing right there. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that land is right there. It's been up for sale for three years. Nobody's put up for it. The hood just been using. How much? I might tell you $500, $1,000, whatever. That's not bad. Yeah. That ain't bad at all. And then listen, like I said, you go out to Dirksons. I'm not lying to you. You go out to Dirksons right now, bro. They do no credit checks. You know when people realize they should have that shit, though, bro? After the money, they gone. gonna let you drop a building in there. That you realize you're supposed to have that shit after the money gone, bro. Cause I've had one of them moments so where you be doing before, that? before you get the money, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do. This. Then you get it, mm -hmm. and it's like you act like you ain't never, you act like you ain't never had it before. <coughs> so that <coughs> I'm gonna tell you what's gonna be the biggest trend in the biggest trend in the new in the new wave of, of world. What? Uh, home site education or education learning centers. Man. Where children can go in and they have individual they, booths where they're not trying, bothered they're, and they can go in and do that. They're trying to change how civilization goes from A yeah. to Z right now in front of our eyes, bro. Uh, the little kids don't know no better. You got Netflix? Mm -hmm. uh, tonight, I want you to watch this shit called The Circle. I watch the circle. That's the new world, bro. I watch. I, and that's what I've seen trying, it. And I, and I ain't never seen, seen that shit. But I'm. They, I'm. I know now. They trying to create most a new people. World, you meet, new most new people everything. you meet will be through a profile in the computer and through a screen. And you will build relationships and rapport with them beyond the people that is in your necessary realm. I ain't fucking with nobody. I don't fuck with nobody, but y'all. That's how black folks need to be. See, now is the time we're supposed to be family of everything. The loyal over everything, the gang over everything. Exactly, don't be fucking with nobody with the rumor. Village hidden in the leaves. I don't fuck with nobody from the yeah, village. No, no, uh -uh. I've seen Ink post to put a post up earlier about when my little cousin passed, talking about where was the village? Hidden in the leaves. Man, listen. Hidden in the fucking leaves. Worried about what's going on in Dallas. Worried about what's going on in Little Rock. Who posted that? Because I said they say it takes a village, but where was the village? Yeah, I've seen it. And the first thing I was going to put under. The village was hidden in the leaves, but you know what I said? Nah. You know what I used to say? Because I know you meant that as a real deal, and I wasn't going to use that as a ploy. But it's the <clears> truth, <throat> my nigga. He did. Niggas is hidden behind these drawers. and I, Bro, I understand sure. we doing all this shit, but we got to be right about our shit, though. Check this out. I'm finna attach this Especially to what you're saying. Especially for the youngest. I'm finna attach this to what you're saying. I used to tell my mama when I had nieces and nephews that were of age that looked up to me and knew Uncle Stephanie did this and this. I used to say what Charles Barkley used to say, not to drag up no old shit, but I'm not no fucking role model. If your kids are doing anything and I'm influencing them, use a piece of shit ass parent because why? Why are they looking at me? Exactly. Bitch, nigga, whoever, get on your fucking job. Well, I have a kid and I understand the influences of this and this and this. And now I'm older and with this music shit, uh, I saw. That's the young Charles Barkley and older Charles Barkley. I can think about, I can think about knuckle up and the impact it had on the crowd and then people start fighting back in my twenties. I'm like, yeah, they rocking this now, that's some shit. Why well, I ain't going to the club. They play this song, I know they gonna fight. Well now we gonna have we gonna have yeah, we're gonna have us some fun when we do this. I can still rap about this, 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 but I just do it a different way because I'm responsible for this little girl and how she listens to it. And see man, Everybody I ain't gonna I hope that you really respect that knuckle up video. Huh? I hope you really respect that uh, I, yeah, that knuckle, uh, that knuckle I, up video. I respect it. 
Two in every weeks. round. No. Because I'm going to tell you something, bro. For the first time. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You, you know why? You the real you, dynamic you know, of the city. You know why? Like, I respect if you it. look at it now, uh, everybody's following Just this. for one reason. I'm trying to tell the truth. For, just for one reason. I ain't trying to sound like no corn ball ass nigga here neither. For one fucking reason. Because my fucking brother C4 said, I got this beat. I got it from Nook. I got the hook. And we about to roll with this shit. We released the regular version, and then we did a remix just like that. And it was on some wipe me down type shit, because the remix was harder than... The song. The song, to me, it was because we got two more people on there that had energy. And it just went. It took off. He had fucking vision. I saw that before my eyes, how that song took off. Mm -hmm. Because of that right there, shout out mm -hmm. my brother, by the way, C4, Ten Toes Down. Because of that right there, I respect it. But every other thing that happened off of that, uh-uh. No, it's uh -uh, like, bro. listen, babe. Uh-uh. I know how people, like, I can see how you can feel that way, man, but it's like... I ain't gonna get into specifics about when, why, when, but no, nah, everything was like, everything When Juicy J and them, or like when Dr. Dre and them dropped their first joint. Like, when Dr. Dre real deal dropped N.W.A. first album, Easy E first album, that wasn't necessarily the music he wanted to make. Uh, uh, no, it, listen, ain't, it ain't because of what I did. It made such a way. beautiful impact, though. You it's know because what I, mean? I saw what that song did to people when shit went sour. Not because mm -hmm. of what shit was good. When shit was good, I won't worry about that. But I saw when such and such and, yeah. and the authorities got involved, I saw how people could shake yeah. and shake the spot, so to speak. So I'm like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, I mean, but see that, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. To me, that's the Malcolm X of. Yeah, because you ain't shit. Because that's the, the thing about Malcolm X, though. Up, like, Malcolm X is gonna show you, like, the truth, bro. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Real like, talk. If you do this to my people, my people will respond this way. Word. Phones blowing up tonight. Y'all got to excuse us when we you know look what at saying? phones. They... And I always love that about Malcolm X, bro. He always let them know, like, yo, if you think that you're just going to do this, and my people are going to say, my nah. And, and, it's, and listen, bro, and I, I get what you're saying, but the truth is we weren't fighting each other. We was fighting oppression, bro. Exactly. I'm, I, that's what I've been saying the whole night, bro. We are the oppression. I ain't saying it's but, oppression. Don't claim oppression because if you a piece of shit, I'm oppressed. Nah, you just a piece of shit. But as far as, like, being able to try and not getting, so to speak, the fair share of life that this motherfucker might got because of this and this. Man, that's oppression like a motherfucker. We fight every day because we black. We've been fighting coming out the womb because our mama's black. That's why I think, that, that's why I think bro, like, I ain't, I ain't, that's why I keep going back to Nick, man. Because I ain't gonna lie to you. I think that's why Nick's so important and this is so important because it's in every realm, bro, from what we eat to how we, what we breathe in. Every